Hi, I'm Peter from Coffee Parts, and today we're looking at the Eureka Minion Manuale. The Eureka Minion Manuale sits at the starting point of the Eureka home line. So you have the Manuale, the Silencio, the Specialita, the XL and single dose. Although it starts at the entry point, it is a really capable grinder and it uses a lot of the same tech and specs as its bigger brothers. So it's using the same body, worm drive and hopper. Where it varies is it has a smaller blade, so it's 50mm blades and it doesn't have hands-free operation. So you do have to hold the porter filter while grinding. Also, it doesn't have a timer. So it grinds while the micro switch here is being pressed. Compared to the bigger ones that have a screen here and they grind based on time which is a little bit more practical and consistent. But in saying that, the grind output is great. One thing to note is it is a bit loud compared to the other grinders in the Eureka range, which have really worked on being as quiet as possible. But in saying that, compared to the other grinders at this price point, it is on par with the others. Now, let's have a look at this grinder grinding, and it really is a simple grinder. You've got your on-off switch here on the side, you got your switch to activate the grinds and you got your adjustment here to grind finer or coarser. The hopper holds 300 grams of coffee, but generally you're only putting in 250 grams and you got your porter filter support here, which is actually screwed in in place. So you could unscrew it and remove it and use a dosing cup, but most people will probably be grinding directly into the porter filter. So let's grind a double shot and hear it and see it grind. As it grinds, just while you're pressing it, you can stop, collapse it down a little bit, and then grind a bit more. And there you have about a double grind. One thing that's common is to get a set of scales. So, especially because you now don't have a time factor, using scales to make sure you're grinding the same amount every time, or you can just do it visually and get a rough indicator. When you do it visually between shots, you might get a variance because it's very hard to work out if that's 19 or 20 grams of coffee. So for us, the grinder feels a little bit loud, but that's because we're used to grinders in like a very different price bracket. In saying that, looking at the grind consistency, it is a very consistent grinder. Normally at this price point, you tend to see a little bit more clumpiness, a little bit more inconsistency in the grind particle size. And this grinder really does perform awesome when it comes to output. It just is a little bit louder. But in saying that, it is a perfect grinder to pair up with, to say, your Rancilia Silvia's, Gaggia Class 6, machines at that price point. And having a grinder is a hundred times better than not having a grinder. So just being able to grind fresh for whatever espresso machine you have will change the espresso game dramatically. We have done a video showing and comparing the whole lineup from the Manuale to the Silencio, Specialty to XL and Single Dose. And to watch that video to see how all these grinders compare, click here. If you have any questions on this grinder, let me know in the comments below. And like always, if this video has brought you value, hit that thumbs up and please subscribe. See you on the next video.